is going on everybody hope everyone's having a good day today welcome back to the channel super excited about this video today we are looking at this uh, chevy single cab uh duramax or you can just do a v8 in it gasoline uh i'm not necessarily excited about this truck in particular but today they dropped a few different console mods and this is one of them so if you are looking forward to seeing this on console well here you go so I'm obviously gonna throw this uh, Dirty Max in here. Look through these other upgrades. We got Crawler Box, Scout, Off-Road, and Iggy's R&D. Looks like that's like a towing setup. So we'll just do, we'll just do this Off-Road gearbox with the six speed. Suspension, we can do active hauling suspension and lifted. So the camera on the front wheels are going to be a little interesting if you lift it too much. Let's see. I think I might just leave it stock then because the camera on the wheels is really weird. So tires looks like you can go up to a 43. So I'm going to do an all-terrain tire on this thing. Oh, sick, you can make it into a dually. Heck yeah. So I'll do these 38s, dually tire. There's a ton of tire options too. I'm just gonna do an offline winch. Not necessarily gonna put a snorkel on this right now. Okay, so you can do a flat bed on this thing, which is pretty cool. So you can do one unit of uh, cargo. Nice, this thing has quite a bit of different options for the bed. Repair supplies in the bed. Service, high and low saddle. I think it's going to go with this one. Kind of weird you can't do a dually bed, though. It's interesting. Let's see what else we can do this thing. Beacon light. Nothing with the exhaust. I'll do the roof fog lights because it gets pretty dark in SnowRunner. Some different bumper options. So the stock bumper is the only one that goes out to the fenders. These ones don't look that bad though. I'll probably just do this one. And then there's different wheel options, I mean rims. Let's go with those ones, see what kind of paint jobs we can do. So it's just a very basic truck. It's basically just like a work truck. Or if you want to do like an off-road build, you can, but changes something in the, behind the grill, I wonder if that changes the color of the motor or something. I think I might just go with white. Yeah, let's do white. And you can do the bobbleheads and accessories, which I don't usually put those on. Oh, look at this interior. Let's go with the Hawaiian girl. Take this thing out of the garage. Start this up. Oh, man. <laughs> I did put the freaking diesel motor in this, right? So we're on the highway hauling map too, by the way, if anybody cares. Lights are good. I'm gonna go back into the garage real quick just to double check. I put the diesel motor in here because it does not sound good. Huh. Duramax is in there. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Flex this thing out. So this thing has no flex. Oh, uh, you're gonna do it backwards. Took up this trailer over here. The good thing about this mod though is it is very low memory. So you can have this mod plus multiple mods, I believe. So you can do some roleplay videos. I'll probably do roleplay videos with it in the future just so I can tow crawlers to the trailer and stuff. It'll be pretty cool. Drive this thing around a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do actually is go back to this ramp. High is not very high. So this would be a good mod to use like in the vanilla gameplay because it's not, it doesn't seem overpowered, but it, it seems pretty realistic. If I can get this trailer to go straight. Tell you what, backing up trailers in video games is way harder than real life. Let's go back to the garage. And let's get like, let's see. So the Hummer on there. Hummer's pretty heavy. We'll just tow us up the hill a little bit. Oh, I think I'm too far. Yep. Nice. There we go. Back to Chevy up. Didn't even sound like it was on. It's not straight, but it'll work. Go forward. <laughs> Put it right about there. Turn that off. Switch back into this truck. Pack this thing down. Oh, that's cool. You can uh, drop the tailgate. That's pretty sick. Not many trucks you can do that. So let's take this thing up the hill. See how it does. I do like the interior of this truck, though. It's pretty accurate. I'm sure with a different transmission it would be way faster, but I just wanted to keep it kind of vanilla spec. Minus the Duramax engine. But this thing's pretty sweet. You don't see a lot of single cabs in snow runner. Those are pretty good actually. I'm just not a big fan of it not having a dually bed and the sound of the Duramax. It doesn't sound like a diesel. So let's see how it handles going down the road or down the hill, I should say. 